Now that you've got the shell of the dashboard and an updated header, you'll learn how to structure the sidebar and the body. The sidebar is updated using the dashboard sidebar function. You can add tabs to your sidebar using the sidebar menu function. For example, if I wanted to create a tab for data, I would add a menu item called data. Notice I also have a tab name. This will correspond to a tab name in the body, so when I click this tab in the sidebar, the indicated tab in the body will come to the forefront. Similarly, adding a second menu item will add an additional tab. For example, here I've added a tab called Dashboard. Again, I'm giving it a tab name so I can link it to a tab in the body in just a second. All right, recall that to make the body, we use the Dashboard Body function. Now we want to create tabs that match the ones we created in the sidebar, called Data and Dashboard. We do this using the Tab Items function. Within that function, each tab is created using the Tab Item function. We want the names to match those that we used in the sidebar, here, Data and Dashboard. Notice in my example photo that you cannot tell that the body has tabs. That is because we haven't added any content yet. Let's add some text to visualize the difference. Now if I click the Data tab on the sidebar, I see the text that I placed in the tab. I can toggle and click the Dashboard tab, and I will see the text for the Dashboard tab. Now that I've created tabs on the sidebar and matching tabs in the body, I can add boxes within each of the body's tabs, and I can even add tabs within each of the boxes. You can add a tab box directly to the Dashboard body, or place it within a tab item. Here's an example of a tab box directly in the Dashboard body. The Tab Panel function is from the Shiny package and will add tabs within the box. Now you'll get a chance to practice this on the dashboard you've been building.